Hello everybody and welcome to Tamriel. Today's video is going to cover how to get started with installing mods into Skyrim. So this video will cover the Nexus mod manager. I will be making a second video later on that will describe how to use the mod organizer tool, which is a slightly more advanced tool, but it's a lot harder to get into if you're brand new to modding. So I'm starting off with the Nexus mod manager so that it's really simple for you guys who are brand new to modding to get into it. So welcome to my desktop. This is where we're going to be doing the majority of the work today. Um, the first thing that we need to do is go to the Nexus Mods website. So that is at nexusmods.com. Um, all you have to do is go to nexusmods.com. It'll automatically link you here. And then all we need to do is we need to click install NMM at the very top here. This version may be different depending on when you look at the site, but it will be the same no matter what. So you click that and it will redirect you to this page where it says open beta. So all we need to do is download the version correct for your operating system. Uh, so for instance, mine is the Vista Windows 7, 8 and 10 version. Uh, I actually have this already downloaded on my desktop, so we can switch back over to that. And here it is. So to get started, uh, make sure you have a folder where you want to install it. For sake of simplicity, I have mine here on the desktop. So you can see it's empty at the moment. And all we have to do is we have to double click the installer. Once that's loaded, we'll get started. Um, and there's quite a long process to go through uh, in order to set this up, but it's not too hard to understand. Um, so the first thing first is pick your language. Uh, it only has between English and German, but that's fine for now. Uh, accept the license agreement. Um, make sure you read this if you have um, used Nexus Mod Manager before, um, just because they've changed the way it works at some point and it affects how your previous installation will work. Um, we don't have that problem, so we can ignore that. Um, so the next thing you want to do is select the destination folder for where you're going to install it. Uh, so for in my case, mine is already set up for where I want it because I did this previously. Um, so all I have to do is hit next. Uh, as you can see, it gives you the option to create some shortcuts on your desktop. And it also gives you the options to associate the program with these specific file extensions. So for instance, uh, the NXM file extension is for mods you download from the Nexus. Um, and it also can support other file types as well from older versions of mods. So for me, I don't want to do this because I use Mod Organizer primarily. Um, but for you guys, if you want to set that up, that's fine. On to the next step, it clarifies where it's going to install. You just hit install and then it's ready to go. So you hit next and then launch Nexus Mod Manager. So once you launch it, it's going to come up with a box. Um, it normally won't come up with this. It will come up with uh, this window here. So what that does is it basically scans your hard drive uh, or hard drives, depending on if you have more than them and more than one. Uh, it basically will look for any games you have installed. Uh, so for instance, it's found my Skyrim install. I can click that checkbox and it says, yes, that's on my B drive. And it's also found my Skyrim Special Edition install, which is on my SSD. So I hit the tick. Uh, I don't need to look at any other games for now, but this does support all of these games here. Um, so if you do want to use it for another game, you can, um, but we don't need that for now. And then once you're done, just hit stop searching. It also lets you input the file path as well, if you know where a certain game is and it hasn't found it. Um, and then you can hit quick startup. So what this does is it gives you a list of all the games that it's found and you can pick which one you want to use. So in my case, I want to use Skyrim Special Edition. Um, you can also tell it not to ask you multiple times. That's fine. Hit OK and you'll be greeted with a screen. So as you can see, it says you currently don't have any file categories set up. Now you can set these up. All it does is it basically changes the layout so that you can see what mods are in the armor category and what mods are in the followers category. Uh, I don't use that because I don't need to, um, but if you would like to, you can. Um, so I'm just going to skip that for now and so hit no. Um, and this is the window you'll be greeted. So 
you have something here called unassigned. Uh, that is basically a category. Um, you don't need that. Uh, what I generally do is just uh, make sure that you can see here, you can add more categories if you like. Um, I just remove them all to start with because I don't use them. Um, yeah, so that's the first step. So now you have Nexus Mod Manager up and running. Uh, the next step is to double check that everything is in order. So if we go over to the plugins page, you should see uh, your game files. So this should only show Skyrim, Update, Dawnguard, Hearthfires, and Dragonborn. Those are the DLC included with Skyrim Special Edition. And as you can see, it's got the load order here. So the load order is important because when Skyrim loads mod files, if two mods affect the same file, it will load whichever one has the higher priority. Um, so as you can see, um, Skyrim is the first thing on the load order. That means that gets loaded before everything else. Anything on top of that overwrites it. So the update then overwrites whatever was in the original Skyrim that it's changed. This is important for certain mods like textures, um, where if you have one mod that affects all of the textures for grass, for instance, um, and then you have another mod that affects the textures of, say, one or two types of grass, if you put that after, uh, it will overwrite the original mod, but only for those two bits of grass, which is very important for mods that affect the same sort of stuff. Um, they'll either conflict or they'll overwrite completely, so you want to be aware of that when you're installing mods. But Let's get started with installing a brand new mod. So the first thing you want to do is when you're on this page is you want to log in. Now keep in mind you should already have a Nexus login because you have um, already installed, uh, like you've already downloaded the program. So as you see here you get this little window here. Um, so I'm going to type in my information here um, and you'll type in yours. Once you've logged in, the man over here will change to a little green one and it'll say logged in. It'll tell you whether you're a premium member or not. And we also have these two little hover bits down here. So one is the download manager. So that shows you where all the mods you're currently downloading are and what percentage they're at, etc. And the other is the mod activation queue. This shows what mods are activating and, and what mods have you set to activate. So when you have mods in your list, you can double click multiple of them, one after the other. Um, and it will just queue them up so you can install them one after the other. So one thing to keep an eye on is uh, the settings window. So there are numerous settings so you can check for updates, make sure that it adds any missing info for mods, uh, whether it closes the mod manager once you've started the game, that sort of thing, and all sorts of different things like the server location, etc, etc. So keep an eye on that because it's very useful information to have. Um, the next part is setting up a profile. So Nexus Mod Manager has the ability to add profiles now, so you can have one profile for, say, a vampire playthrough, and one profile for a werewolf playthrough, and it will separate which mods are using what. So for instance, I'll just give this the profile name of Modded as an example, um, and if we click this drop down here, you'll see I've got my profile here, Modded. If I were to make a new profile called Vanilla, you'll now see that I have both. One says Modded, one says Vanilla. You can click on whichever one you want and it'll swap everything around into that profile. So I'll show this a bit more in detail later on once I've got a mod installed. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's get our mod installed. So I'm gonna use the mod uh, Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition Patch. I covered this in my previous video on the top five mods for brand new modders. So if you haven't seen that video already, I really suggest going checking that out because it'll give you a great rundown of the sort of mods you should be installing on your first playthrough. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hit download Nexus Mod Manager. And what that does is it will download it straight into the program. So I'm gonna do this here and you'll see you'll get a pop-up considering supporting the mod author, that's up to you. Hit continue with download, and what that'll do is that'll push it through to the client and then it'll install. So for me, uh, I don't have Nexus Mod Manager managing my files, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to import the mod uh, manually into my installation because I use Mod Organizer normally. 
So uh, if I come over here now to my other screen, you'll see that we have one in the download manager page. And that says unofficial Skyrim special edition patch has been added and the status is complete. That's because I downloaded it prior. So all I did in order to add that manually is I just hit this little drop down and clicked add mod from file and it lists all the mods I use uh, in my playthrough. And as you can see here, I just have it downloaded and you can open that as normal. Now, if we click this drop down on unassigned, you'll see the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. What this means is basically it's listed there as having been downloaded, but it hasn't actually been activated yet. So what we can do to activate that is just double click it and it will see if you are installing a mod for vanilla Skyrim, just be aware that it won't work. All that basically means is any old mods that you're installing uh, on the original version of Skyrim won't work for the special edition. So that's an important message to know. Okay, so now we've double clicked that and you can see it's in the mod activation queue. So it'll list the mod that's being activated, whether it's actually running or queued up and it will show you the process in which it's doing it. So now it's hit 100% and as you can see there's a small green tick next to the mod. That means the mod is activated and ready to be played with. So if we head back over to the plugins tab now you can see there's an extra thing here which actually ends up being the special edition patch. And as you can see here it comes after all the previous files uh, so what that means is it will overwrite things from those previous files. Not all mods will overwrite things, just if they are further down the list, they'll overwrite whatever came before them. Okay, good. So let's add um, one more tool to our arsenal. When you play modded Skyrim, a very important thing to do is sort your load order. So as I mentioned before, your load order affects what gets overwritten by what mods. So if you had the two texture mods, as I explained earlier, they would be overwritten. So what we need instead is a tool called loot. So as you can see here, we have a tool called loot. Uh, this won't be pre-installed. Um, you do have to install this yourself. There's a small configuration window built into Nexus, which you can do that with. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, so in order to use loot, what you want to do is you want to come to this page. Uh, we'll configure it up here. So if I show you as an example for say FNIS, it will just bring up this little drop down. You pick where it's installed and it, it's done. Um, if you want to install loot, uh, we have a link to GitHub over here. Uh, this will be in the description as well. Um, all you do is download the installer and then all you have to do on the installer is open it up and once it loads it's quite a small file so it's not too hard to set up you run the installer and then we'll get a window pop up selecting your language picking where you want to install it hit next you can create a shortcut and then there it goes so just leave this installing um, and it will just make sure it's all up to date things like that um, if you want to update your loot, that's exactly the same way you do it. You don't want to launch it individually, so just click uncheck that and click finish. And then once you go into Nexus, it will you can do the uh, setup in this section here. So as I said, we're going to launch loot, and it will come up with this window. Uh, this is a very important window because it shows all the mods you have installed and the order they come in initially. So you can see here the list of everything we have in the plugins. So that should match whatever is here. And if we open it up, double check, Skyrim, update, Dawnguard, Halfires, Dragonborn, and then the unofficial patch. That is correct. So the first thing it does is it tells you how many warnings there are, how many dirty plugins there are. That's a separate issue you guys won't have to worry about for the most part. Um, and it also brings you this message. You have not sorted your load order this session. So in order to make sure that your game runs as smoothly as possible, it's really important that you run loot after you install any number of mods. You could install one mod and the game won't work when it worked when you didn't. Uh, it's, it's really a really complicated process that loot makes very simple. So if you are installing any mods, you should always run this program before you start playing. 
So all you do is you run the program and you hit this little button up here, it will say sort plugins. Click that, it will update the list, um, you don't need to worry about that as you can see it updated and it will make changes to the load order as it sees fit. So as you can see here, the unofficial patch stayed in the same place because that's where it's supposed to go, so we don't have to worry about that. So what we can do is we can go over to the Nexus um, for Skyrim Special Edition and we can find ourselves one of the top files. So as you can see here, we have, say, uh, a quality world map. So if we download this again, uh, I already have this downloaded, so you don't have to do this. But all you do is you click download Nexus Mod Manager. I'm going to add the file manually because I have it downloaded. Um, if I can find it, that is. Well, I don't know exactly where it is, so we'll, we'll do something different for now, but it, it, it's the same concept. So if we do, uh, say, alternate start, live another life, which is also in my mod spotlight, I uh, come over here, you can see it's in the list, unactivated. Double click that, it's activated now, and the plugin comes after. But if we run loot again, because we've added a new mod here, uh, double check the list, hit sort, no update was necessary, no changes were made because that's the right order. So all you have to do is make sure you've done this in the right order and whenever you install a mod make sure that you're covering you know loot and making sure it's in the right place. Um, so that's that's the basic premise of installing. So the next step is to actually launch the game. So all you have to do is uh, you can launch this drop down you, if you have a custom setup you can do that but normally you just have to hit this it'll ask you if you want to close nexus mod manager after you started the game i'm going to hit no for example and then the very next thing it will do is launch the game so here you go so it's launching it through steam just give it a second to boot up here you are and then if we hit play the game should launch There we are. So it starts off with the Bethesda logo. Here we are. So as you can see, uh, I've got all my previous saves showing up. But if we were to do a new save, keep in mind we've only got two mods installed. We've got the unofficial patch and alternate start. And here we are. Here is alternate start. So this mod I covered in my previous playthrough. Um, I did a video on it along with uh, the other mods. As I mentioned earlier uh, so we'll just do test character for now and uh, here we are the mod is working as intended approach my child okay. and choose where your new life shall begin so you are there you are that's all you need in order to get started with modding in Skyrim so my second video will be covering the mod organizer uh, which is a very powerful tool um, in order to mod your game. It goes into a lot more detail um, and it is a lot harder to get into but for someone who wants complete control over their files it's a must-have. Um, so I'll be covering that at a later date um, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you've got any suggestions for anything you want me to cover in a future video, do leave a comment and I'll sort that out. And once again, I hope to see you all next time.